doing something, y'all. It's your boy Chance, and I actually would like to talk to you guys about something, something that not very many get the chance to hear about. What's up, Adam? What's up, David? Um, <clears throat> but something I'd like to talk to you guys about that I know it's a lot of people struggling with, especially these days, is how to run a successful like online shop like what I do or a successful record label. And the one thing a lot of them slip up on is the fact that they want everyone to benefit. And the sad reality is when it comes to like online shops, the sad reality is it's never going to happen. As much as we wish that would happen, that's never going to happen. And, but the reason why I've become such a successful shop owner with my DK Customs online shop through Rage On is because I do one thing that not a lot of people do. And it's not the things you guys would expect. It's not marketing. It's not, you know, promoting or anything like that. It's actually looking at trends and what styles are in. Because think about it. You go to any shop like Nike, you're paying $100 to $150 for a brand new pair of custom Nikes. You go to my shop, you're paying $80 for a brand new custom pair with that same design, but a hundred times better. Why? Because I did my research. I looked to see what was trending, what is in, and what can I do to make things, you know, cheaper, but also better for that person. See, that's the key, is what's trending. Start looking into that shit. See what people are buying and do better than them. You know, offer lower prices, offer discounts whenever you can. Because no shop in the world is going to do that. No normal shop is going to offer you a discount for a high end item. Especially the stuff that I've got. Like, dude, I've got some of the highest quality gear in the world that's why i've had people from not only the u.s i've had people from the uk purchasing my items why because it's high end low price and that's just the truth of it that's how things are and the same goes with record labels and this also, it's a similar deal, but a little bit different. And this actually does apply to like my homie Rex Curse. And if you guys have not checked out Rex Music, man, Rex got some amazing stuff, man. Dope music all around, man. Be sure to check his stuff out. Just saying. But how did he become successful like he's doing now? By thinking outside the box. Looking at what's trending. And what can he do to switch it up? How can he take what's trending and make it a hundred times better than what it is? Exactly, man. And that's completely true. Quality is hard to find, especially at a good price. And that's where a lot of you young business cats are going wrong at. Like a lot of you shoppers, a lot of you record labels are. That's where you guys are going wrong at. That's why right now, mine and my little brother, Ian, <clears throat> mine and my little brother Ian's record label, Bloodshot Records. 
that's why we're standing at 101 views or 101 subs right now is because we took a look at what's trending and we did it better. Hell, I'll be straight up honest. I took what was trending already within, you know, the electronic music world, like dubstep, EDM, and chill wave. I took all those along with other genres like hip hop, rock, metal, and I combined them into one solid sound and made a whole new genre called Phantom Step. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to Bloodshot Records, check that shit out. But that's where a lot of you young cats that think, you know, everybody's going to benefit from everything, especially in the shops. It ain't going to work like that. It's sad to say. Because think about this. You have a guy over here selling one pair of shoes for $150 at like Nike or Foot Locker or wherever. Custom made. $150. You go to a shop like my shop. You're only paying $80 for custom made brand new high quality so while this dude's over here selling you know 150 you know pair of shoes like $150 pair of shoes like once a week you can be over here selling double that for 80 think about it people want high quality for a low price. That's just the bottom line. Everybody wants high quality, low price. And that's what my shop provides. High quality t-shirts, high quality shoes, high quality hoodies, phone cases, bandanas, pillows, pillowcases, all that. For good quality, but low price. I make things affordable for people. And the reason why I have to put $80 on my shoes is so that not only am I making money, but the site I go through does take a little bit out of my pay to pay for it, which is only fair. Like, I completely understand why they do that. Because the people that make it need to make their money as well. Same thing with the record label. Let's say you have a brand new artist coming on, just brand new. Straight up brand fucking new. Not even in the game for a month. And you know this dude's got talent, right? What you want to do, and this is something I implement into my music all the time. Is you want to take high quality beats. You want to take 10 of your best beats. 10 of your best beats. Sell them for $10 a piece. The reason I say that. Your artist, your average artist, your high end artist, let's say they're making 20 grand a month. Like 20 grand and up a month. They're selling maybe five, like maybe one to five beats a week for like a hundred plus dollars. Now think about this. You approach any artist, guaranteed, you approach any artist with this deal, I guarantee you they will take it. You offer them. 10 of your best beats for $10, they're going to take it up like that. Reason why? Because they're getting multiple tracks for a very good price. So while your major dude over here is selling like maybe five, six beats a month and making like 20 grand a year, you're over here doubling up on that dude, selling 10 beats for 10 bucks and making bank. You're doubling up on this guy. And what is that artist going to do? He's going to tell his friends that are artists. And he's going to be like, yo, like, I know this guy. He sells 5 10 beats for 5 to $10. You know, they're really good. They're really high quality and stuff like that. So you, got, you need to check this guy out. And what that guy is going to do is he's going to start telling people about that. He's got to start sharing your stuff to other people. And what those other people are going to do is they're going to get a hold of you. And they're going to be like, yo, I hear you sell 5 10 beats for $10. And what are they going to do? They're going to come to you. Don't ever go to your customers 
let your customers come to you. Yeah, of course, you obviously want to approach, you know, your first few customers with beats or with shops or whatever. Like, you definitely want to do that. But when it comes to making money, you need to put that, you need to put your business ahead of yourself. Stop thinking, oh, I want this to be fair for everyone all the way around. And I'll admit, I want that sometimes myself. But instead of thinking, oh, I want this to be fair for everyone to profit, you need to think about yourself and what's good for your business. And what's good for your business is you making money so that eventually you can do stuff like that. Okay? I've been a business owner for... God knows how many fucking years now. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. I learned from some of the best in the business. Okay. I not only learned from guys that have been in the music industry for a very long time. But I've also learned from a bunch of very good friends that own businesses. That have been doing business for a very long time. And they implement the exact same strategy that I'm telling you guys now. And I took that same strategy that they use. And I implement it into my own stuff. What you want to do is you want to make an offer. An offer that people can't refuse. You really want to make that offer that. You know. Nobody else is going to offer them. Like with myself. All right, I offer custom made high end quality t shirts for $25. Custom made. Nowhere else in the world can you get the kind of shirt that I'm offering you. You want a Deadpool design, you want a Legend of Zelda design, you want a fucking Mario Kart, Rick and Morty, no matter what the design, I got you. And that's the kind of stuff you want to offer your customers. You want to offer them something. That no other company can offer them. And just like with selling music. You want to offer your customers. Beats or instrumentals or whatever kind. Whatever. Thing, you want to double it. For a low cost. Your customers are going to start coming to you. Like that. Right after your first. Like. I challenge you guys to do this. Especially if you're in the music industry. And if you've been in it just as long as I've been in it, you guys will catch on like that. Because I've been in the music industry for going on 11 years now, coming up here next year. Actually, right after my birthday, it'll be the 11 year mark. But. You know, and that's what you want to do. You want to approach your first handful, of, say your first five artists. No matter what business, what part of the music industry you're in, you want to offer them five to ten beats or five to ten tracks for a low price. Whether it's mixing, mastering, you want to offer high quality stuff, low end price. Reason why? You get way more customers that way. A lot more. And I'm not just saying that to say it. I'm saying it because I have the experience. I have the knowledge. And I know firsthand, especially with, you know, with businesses, with shops. I know what that's like to be at that starting stage. Where you want to be able to make things fair for everyone entirely. And I get that. 100%. I totally get that, man. And believe me, even now with me just now jumping right back into growing my shop again and gaining more customers, like, I would like that too. But you need to change your way of thinking. Think business. Don't think fairness. Think business. Think profit. Think making a living for yourself. Because making a living for yourself 
comes first and foremost. Think, how can I make a living doing what I'm good at? Like, how can I do what this other person is doing, but better and still make profit? And like I said, if you follow the steps that I showed you just now, like, you know, like, let's say, like, all right, let's put it this way. You just now are starting up your very first clothing shop, right? You got a guy over here that's selling five, ten shirts for, say, 15 bucks, all right? Just random shirts and not custom made or anything. They're basically shirts you can get anywhere else. But you start up your own shop. Not that they are there, not, not that they are gonna be that cheap, but this is just pure example. Just for pure example. Like this is not legitimately real. This is just pure example for you guys on how I run things. But like I said, let's say you got this guy over here selling your everyday average shirt for say twenty, say thirty dollars. All right, thirty to forty dollars for a shirt, right? Well, while he's over here selling that stuff for that price, you're over here selling these custom shirts that nobody else can get their hands on that everybody wants. For a cheaper price than what he's selling his regular stuff for. Because this dude over here is selling 30, 40, 50 shirts a week. And you're over here doubling up on that dude. Because you have one thing that he doesn't. High quality material. High quality stuff for a good low price. And that's what people want. They want high end stuff for a low affordable price. And that's why I priced my stuff the way that I did. Your average custom shirt, 50 to 60 bucks at max at any other shop. Your custom shoe designs, you're looking at 100 to 150, sometimes even 200 to 1,000 dollars for a custom made. But when you go to my shop, you see high-end skate shoes both high top and low top for 80 bucks. Now, where else in the world are you going to find that? 80 bucks plus a few dollars tax. So what? Exactly, and you're completely right on that, David, and that's completely true, but honestly, man, that's the way you need to think. You need to think business. For all you young cats, you need to stop thinking about how you can make things fair for everyone in the world, because not everyone in the world is going to be happy. You can't make everyone in the world happy. Believe me, I have tried that and I have failed so bad. I have failed so miserably from that. Now you guys are probably wondering why I haven't, you know, run my shop this entire time. Well, believe it or not, the answer is actually pretty damn simple. It's because I've been working on my music, my photography, and my artwork for these last few years. So I haven't really had the chance to put those aside and work on my shop but now that I can put that stuff to the side and work on my shop you know I can definitely start bringing in more customers because what you want to do is you want to approach your first five to ten customers with the same offer no matter what it is no matter whether it's clothing whether it's music uh, whether it's mixing and mastering whether it's instrumentals no matter what it is, you want to approach them with the same formula that I told you guys. High-end stuff, like multiples of high-end stuff for a low-quality price. 
That's why I offer my shirts for $25, custom made. I offer my hoodies and shoes, $80, custom made. Why? Because that's what the customer wants. High end quality, low price. Instead of thinking, how can I please everyone in the world? I think, okay, how can I get this customer to purchase my merchandise or purchase my instrumentals? And keep them coming back and keep them spreading work. See, with me being a shop owner, I'm not only looking at that. I'm looking at other things too, like trending designs. Um, how much those trending designs are and like what they do. Like I look at their designs and I take those designs that are trending and I put them on my own stuff. And I lower the price down. Why? Because nobody in the right mind is going to want to spend $300, $400, on a pair of shoes from fucking Foot Locker when they can get that exact same pair of skating shoes. Like literally, they can get that exact same pair of skating shoes that they can get a Foot Locker from me for a lower price. Same design, low price. And that's the bottom line. All you young cats need to start thinking business. Think business. Stop thinking, how can I, you know, make everyone happy in the world? Because the truth of the matter is, you're not going to be able to make everyone in the world happy. You need to put yourself and your business first. Stop thinking how you can be fair to everyone and start thinking like a business. Because otherwise, you're never going to get anywhere. Trust me, I know. I have been there. I know what it's like to be there. I have been there so many times in the past. Hey, Lance, what's going on, buddy? Good morning, man. But like I said, that's why I'm picking back up on my shop, as I said, because of the fact that I have more time on my hands. I'm not doing as many musical projects. Um, I will have a dubstep album coming out very soon. Or not a dubstep album, but a phantom step album. I'll have that releasing very soon. It'll be the first one ever to be released on the Spotify. So that's going to be dope. But like I said, guys... For all you business owners, for all you shop owners in your labels, stop thinking fairness and start thinking profit. Because once you take about, once you take, you know, thinking about profit in yourself, and you implement the formulas that I just showed you, I guarantee you, you guys will get a lot further than what you are now. I know I might sound crazy, but believe me, it's the honest to God truth. Because I was once in that same spot. Okay. And now, because of it, I got $14 sitting in my Rage On account. And that's most of all. The $14 is because I haven't touched my shop in a while. But I guarantee you, I approach everybody with the same offer. And every single one of them, as soon as I get the money, I'll buy it. As soon as I get the money, I'll buy it. Oh, dude, yo, send me the link. I'll buy it right now. And that's what it's all about. It's about approaching your customers with a high-end item for a good, low-quality cost. And I know a lot of y'all might not listen because y'all are young, you guys are just now starting out, but believe me, dude, I may be 27 years old, about to be 28 here in a couple weeks, but you know what? I know exactly what I'm talking about because believe me, I was in that same position that you were in. I was always thinking, oh, how can I do this and that and blah, blah, blah. Until I realized, because I was sitting down actually watching one of Ty Pendleton's, or not Ty Pendleton, but um, Ty Lopez, 
I was watching one of his seminars on business. And what he said is completely true. And I implemented the same thing and it does work. You approach one person with the offer that I like. Let's say you guys do take what I use into action. Alright, let's say you do take that. What you want to do is you want to offer three, two to three different people the same offer. Okay? You want to offer those people the exact same thing. Exact same thing. And then what they're going to do is they're going to be like, alright, yeah, like we'll take the offer. And what they're going to do is they're going to tell their friends and their friends are going to tell their friends. And it's just going to be a continual cycle. But you need to approach your first handful of customers first. Now me, the only reason why I approach all my customers right now at this point is because I'm still growing my business. But the plan I am using is working. The formula I am working high is proving to work. Like right now I've got at least. 5, 10, 15 customers already lined up that are going to buy the custom gear as soon as they get the money. Why? Because I'm offering high end, low price. And that's the key. That's that's something I want all you guys that are in business, that are in record label, that own labels, that own businesses. That's what I want you guys to think about. I want you guys to take that same, I challenge you guys to take that same formula that I told you and implement it. Approach five to six random people. Five to six random people that, you know, that you don't even know, but well, I mean, you might know or whatever, and make that same offer to them. Make them that same offer. And nine times out of ten, I guarantee you they're going to take you up on that offer like that. So that's a little tip for you guys for the day. That's my little tip of the day for you guys. So, like These are your two tips for the day to help you guys really get out there. Especially if you're in the music industry. Take ten of your best instrumentals. And sell them for $10, no leases, nothing. Just $10 for 10 beats. If you're into mixing and mastering, offer somebody 10 tracks for $10 to mix and master for $10. And if you're in shop, like what I'm doing, look at trends. Take a look at what's trending out there. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to take that same offer that I make people. Be like, hey, you know, you want a custom shirt? You know, it's $25, custom made, high quality. You know, take that same offer and offer it to 10 random people. I guarantee you they're going to take you up on it like that. Guaranteed. So those are my few tips for you guys for the day. High-end quality, low price. And, you know, that's right in. Just high-end quality, low price. And approach people with the offers. Approach your first few customers with that offer. Because, like I said, nine times out of ten, you use the method that I showed you guys, I guarantee you that you'll make bank. Guaranteed. But with that being said, y'all, this has been your boy Chance, or also known as DK Customs from the DK Customs shop on RageOn.com. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.